All right, here we come up to the big flag, Coons Baltimore Ford. Coons Ford Baltimore. And, you know, how many times have I driven up here in the last few days, right? And Jesus Christ, here's the thing. If I get the GT500 from these guys, yeah. Do I come back again? I mean, good Lord. Oh, my gosh. All right, so here we go. And there's the Lightning Park and the Bronco Park. And the Mach 1 part. So I guess we'll get the kid to drive the uh, Avalon. Yeah, but how do you like that blinker? Is it driving you nuts yet? Yeah. Why aren't I buying the C8 Corvette? You know, me being such a Corvette guy so many years ago, why wouldn't I be driving the... Uh, can I even make this turn? Maybe. Can the kid make this turn? Maybe. Let's see if she does it. Okay. Yeah, tight. You know, car dealerships, does it make any sense? Car dealerships, you can't park anywhere. Let's park everything right here. All right. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. This was never planned. So, hey, kid, sit in the car. Is it open? Are you allowed? Yeah, of course. Now, see, what's different about this car, which I have mixed feelings on, is the Recaro seats. For you, it's not a big deal because for you, oh, I it's, like it. You know, but it's a manual seat. Okay, there's the first thing. Yeah, see that. But for you, your body fits in that pretty good. For me, boy, I tell you, wow! Picture yourself driving this. Wow, wow! Let's get a picture of you. Yeah. So how crazy am I, right? So now the deal has actually changed. <laughs> Being it. Now what I'm finding out that the GT500 isn't part of this deal. So it means if I get this, I have two GT500s. <laughs> like I need two GT500s, right? Oh, hey, here's a question. Question of the day. Is that a painted stripe? It looks like it. No, it's a painted stripe. It's a vinyl? That's vinyl. Is that painted or is that a vinyl? Vinyl on this one. I swear it's a painted. I swear that's painted. That is painted. Heritage that is, is painted. not vinyl. Oh, yeah. That's not vinyl. You just feel the edge here. See, if you put your finger across this, oh, yeah. see that blends in? Yeah. That is not a... Uh, yeah, so that's, that has a value in itself. Wow, did you hear that? This has a painted stripe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. So, what chassis number is this? So, what does that all mean? Oh, you know what I got to do? I got to see when it was built. I am back. I got I to gotta see what the, uh, the build date. Here, I'll look. 522. That's funny. The May, the May baby. A Gemini. Oh, let's let's open the hood. It's a Gemini. Let's open the hood. I want to see who built yeah. the. Uh, I want to see it's who built Gemini. the motor. I want to see the guy that built the motor. We'll put his signature. So pull on the. Uh, these pins are always temperamental. Okay. And he's kind of kind of. There it goes. All right. Put your hand right there. Go ahead and pull up. Pull up. No, no. Just pull up. There you go. You got it. Pull. Pull. All right. Now, who... Paul? What is that guy's name? Paul what? Paul Williams? Williams. Paul Williams. All right. So back in my original GT500, they ran the coolant lines incorrectly in the back. You know, the first, first year out, they had some problems. So... Terrain tray. Wow. See, these here, this is my concern. These are known for cracking. And these, man, if you ruin one of these, this Why is like $4,000. Why don't you get Yeah, yeah. Turn off the video. What? I have a secret. What's the secret? Look at it here. See, now if they say here on this is. 
Got a cover. Got a cover. I wonder what this is here. Now, with these talk about, other guys say that it's probably your caster camber plates. This is probably for you to change your suspension on your front end. Probably. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, tell me. This is adjustable out there. All right. What's the VIN? Don't show it. Oh, this is crazy. Now, this is just crazy. You know, this was never the plan. This was never the plan. And here I am. Here we go again. Here we go again. You know, this was never the plan. This was not my plan. My plan was to shed debt. But, but I wonder what that means because, you know, this is number 424 for this year. Or what does it mean? 225 of these being totally built. Are you sure it's not the carbon fiber package 424? No, I don't think so. I have no idea. The chassis is for I have no idea. The you know the Mustang expert guys that just live these things and know every detail and everything in these things, that would be the person who would tell us. Can you imagine? I just basically traded my Mach One for this. <laughs> hey, how'd you like the Mach One? Is that fun? You just on the power. Sorry. Underpowered. No, right, I know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do you, you have a governor in that thing? No. I was getting smoked out there. 80, 80 miles an hour, I was getting smoked. Yeah, everybody wants to Right, right, I know. It's that. <laughs> I'm like sitting there pressing the accelerator. Yeah, like, no. But, no, that's it. That's a right, but it's it. What? It's a Coyote 5 0 motor, 480 but horsepower. I downshifted. I'm trying to think if you had like my key. Nope. Nothing? No, you're just, if you've driven high performance cars, then oh, the yeah. downside is that's the that's challenge. It. That's it. Yeah, I mean, it's a car for her. It's for her. Buy it. It's quick off the line. Let's look at the tires. It. So these tires, these are Cup 2s. Cup twos. <laughs> but are these are those different from the ones I have? On my other GT500? No, Cup 2s is where it comes. On all of them? Yeah. I love this. So let's see what this sticker says here. Shelby. Brittany Blue. Interesting. I mean, leather, Carl. Equipment, carbon track pack. Okay, G2 Heritage Edition, 12 grand upcharge. Technology package. Gas guzzler tax, 2600 bucks. Wow. All right, so here is an idea. Uh oh, uh -oh so I'm going to go take a time out. I'm going to get lunch. I'm getting lunch. I don't know. Yikes. Oh my gosh. This is an excuse. One, two, three, four. Five was GT350. Six was the uh, Super Snake. The, the Raptor. The Raptor started. Raptor's a troublemaker. Hot dang it. All right. What? what? What'd you say? I know one thing for sure. I want that car and I want you to buy it and I oh, want to own it when I'm older. Yikes. And I want to have it forever. Demands. So the kids hammer me, Dad, buy it, buy it, Dad, no, buy not. it. I okay. literally didn't even, I just said I like it, I would buy it. So what I'm saying, she's like, you didn't get it, so I'm like, we're going to get lunch. But you know, I mean, I've already told the guy to go ahead and write up the paperwork. And oh my gosh, who could ever imagine this? You know, the whole deal here I is, is the deal was supposed to be me trading my GT500 for that GT500. I love it. And, and the, uh, So, anyways, you know, the whole deal was supposed to be a GT500 for GT500. They didn't do it that way. And so now, I'm like, Whoa, yikes. slow up, slow up. Now I'm like, yikes. And so, we got the deal done without the GT500. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to have two GT500s. Yeah, cry for me, right? I was just talking about, oh, you get up all these vehicles and blah, blah, blah. I just get my Mach 1 and blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. So now... But you know what? You make no sense, but it's okay. Yeah, well, it's a 225 run car, and and for me, it's more about the escape plan. You know, if you if you've I got debt, you'll be fine. You you'll get through it, and uh, I think that I would get a Heritage Edition Golden Ticket 
GT500 over those vehicles. So, and, anyways. You know, let me talk, Dad. And I think that it's a lifetime car. You gotta take a lifetime to pay it off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I will look like, look like an old fart by the time this thing's paid off. I'm hungry. I mean, this is crazy. Time. This is just crazy what's played out today. In all reality, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, so yeah, if I do the deal, which I think the deal's going to go down, Dad, is you know what are you the escape from McDonald's? a quarter pounder. Okay, I'm getting the number five with hot mustard and an unsweet tea. So, you know, the thing is, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run here real quick. Wow. Look at that lady. Wow. Look at that lady there. Where's the garbage can? Right there it is. Oh, my gosh. What have you done? There's the garbage can right there. See it? Oh, my gosh. Guess what I just did? I mean, this here is the biggest purchase yet. For me, is this crazy? Could imagine. I never even had this on the radar screen, and I'm gonna tell you right now. There's so many people that the, the Ford enthusiast GT500. I'm guaranteed to be like, oh my god, I had that thing. I wanted one of these, but it's gonna be too much. How I want, how did I pull this off? I want this car. How did I pull it off? I mean, come on. So, I can open. oh my gosh! So, did, did they get? Hey, did you get the tag on? Tag on this? Where are you going? Aren't you gonna do the picture? I mean, geez, my sales guy's running off on me. You're scaring him away. I'm gonna pull the car up. Hey, Derek, I'm gonna pull the car out of the spot. Are you excited? Yes, I am. In fact, here, hold my hold my paperwork. Okay. Okay, so here. That's wrong. What are you doing? Alright, let's see if she starts. Man, does that sound familiar? So we can go down here. We'll do that in a second. I'm just going to pull it up. First time doing oh hood ajar. Ah they didn't set they didn't close the hood. That's why it's not starting. That's what's going on here. Man, this car here is GT 500 I know I got Mopar buddies that wouldn't own a Mustang for anything in the world. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it, but whatever, you know. Hey, it's, I'm glad never even doesn't want to own what I own. Oh my gosh, is this, this is just beyond believable of what I just pulled off. I mean, I am not embellishing here about how this was not, oh my gosh, this, you know, I haven't driven my GT500 here in a while, so, you know, of course this is going to be the GT500 moment no matter what, but at the same time, oh my gosh, man, you know, and this car feels lighter my kid's way back there. She's got to get, I don't know what she's doing, but she's not getting her, her herself in gear. I don't know what that's all about, but anyways, the, uh, I need to be in this left-hand lane. It's not comforting to plan out here. My kid, I don't know if my kid can get in now. I'll have to set up the road and wait for her. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't really envision my daughter having to drive all day long around with me. Yeah, so yabba dabba do week. Oh my gosh. Just unbelievable what I just did. Beyond believable. I mean, talk about just being exhausted at this point. I mean, I'm not embellishing to you. It's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> the amount of work I've done to make this all kind of play out. Yeah, I tell people all the time, going and spending money and buy, spending money and buying things, you know, that's not easy. So, uh, but hey, the good news, wow, who would have ever imagined 
I'd be buying a golden ticket GT500. That's what they call these things. The golden ticket, you know, why? I mean, I wish I could tell you exactly why, but I mean, it's the carbon, you know, uh, fiber track, pack, setup, totally designed to go right to the racetrack, which, yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? So, uh, but boy, this is such the Heritage Edition collector's car. I mean, I guess the smart thing to do would be to just not do that and make it a forever car. Yeah, this is a car for sure that, you know, it would be advantageous to just not wear it out. This thing will be sought after, I'm sure, many years later. But yeah, but whatever. The car is just so nice looking, and I'm just really... You heard me in my other videos, like, you know, I don't really think I want to get this car. But yet, here I am. Right? All right, geez, it's, it's crazy. So, since my daughter's right behind me in my Ford Raptor truck, my phone, somebody calls me. It's jumping between this car, that car, just too much damn technology. Are we going nutty yet? Have I gone nuts yet? You're man, because how many freaking cars have you bought now? Yeah, I don't disagree. But hey, I was on the right mission. I did initially have a six for one deal done. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. If you're, if the dealer does a heck of a deal on this car, I mean, come on. I mean, I called around a few of my other buddies kind of find out what they're getting on this car, which I'd never pay, you know, and who knows the real deal, but I feel like I got a respectable deal, and I feel good about it, and, uh, you know, so some good things came out of it, and like I say, oh my gosh, for this to play out, just beyond believable, and the Heritage, the Heritage Edition Mustang GT500, I saw that being released, and I was just so much like, I don't think I'll run one of those things because they're gonna be so hard to get. And just that, eh, for me, I just raised my hand. I'm out, you know. So just like at this dealership, if they had been wanting stupid ADM, I mean, they know. They already know. It's like I'm not gonna do it. You know, just forget it. I'm fine. But but what's really crazy is how I initially had them do the deal with my GT500 2020 model. That's more of a you know. It's more of the base type of model, and it's not the carbon fiber track model. And, and unbeknownst to me, they got the whole deal done without even getting that vehicle involved. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, so yeah. Now I have two GT 500s. I can only hear my Mopar forum buddies just shaking their heads. But you know, it's interesting. For the record. They had a Hellcat Wide Body Challenger black at the dealership here first part of the week. And I did inquire if it was a red eye. If it was a red eye and it would have had the right kind of package, interior, and the right number, I may have tried to pull that deal off. Maybe, maybe. Just because now, as I've talked about, the Hellcat, you know, it's a one year run. And, you know, those things are getting crazy money now. I mean, they're getting really good money. So, uh, but anyways, the whole point is, you know, for my buddies, I just know that are the Dodge Mopar guys, they're like two Ford Mustangs. Oh my gosh, you should have bought a freaking Demon. Nope, I don't want a Demon. I have no desire to have a Demon. I don't want one. Could have bought one many times. I don't want one. Ram TRX, I don't want one. I don't want one. You know, so, but my Mopar buddy's like, oh, but you know, but hey, that's fine. I'm glad that they are looking out for me, right? <laughs> Are they looking out for me? Don't buy another Ford. Yeah, I hear you. But, you know, but nothing's forever. So, you know, one thing's for sure, crazy things happen in my life. I got some pretty valuable cars. So this has, you know, value for something else, if you kind of know what I mean. And, uh, oh, the kid didn't get it. So now my kid's going to be lost. Unless she plugged in the, uh, the Waze. All right, so here's the good old GT500, which I did a lot of videos when I first got my GT500 back in February, March of 2020, never dreaming that I'd end up having a second GT500. Never dreaming. And what's so crazy is I ordered a GT500 pre-pandemic. It was supposed to be the Orange Crush. And then... I changed it to the iconic silver, and and I, you know, that was like 
I believe, I'm going to say September of 2019, August, maybe, and, you know, by November, no VIN, December, no VIN, January, no VIN, no build date, February, no VIN, no build date, and I just by accident, like kind of like today, with this Heritage Edition, the dealer had a GT500 show up, the magnetic that I have, and and you know I thought that was a pre-sold car. I truly thought, I truly thought that somebody had ordered that car. I mean, I so well remember that GT500 coming in on a truck and seeing that thing come off the truck and sitting there in the dealership. And I'm just like, okay, that's a, uh, you know, that's a sold order. And I was buying a Ford uh, ST Explorer, a red one, the uh, performance, you know, package one, ST. And uh, I can just so remember the, uh, you know, me thinking, wow, some guy is so lucky to be getting this, uh, you know, this vehicle. And so then... I had to go back the following day to, you know, see the, uh, get some more paperwork done on the car, and when I did, the car was sitting there. It was actually sitting out front for sale, and so I went up to the, uh, you know, the general manager, and I said, isn't that car sold? And he's like, no, that car's not sold. I'm like, oh, no. And so then we started negotiating on that car, and, and that's how I picked up that car. And meanwhile, my other order was still never populating, so basically I just never pursued that order, and the dealer just went ahead and, and took it. And so, and so anyway, so that's how I got my first GT500 was just really, you know, by accident, going to the dealership, and that car showing up and so here it is on a second time now where you know I've gone into the Ford dealership never planning to buy an Heritage Edition GT500 and you know and here it is now what's interesting is I haven't driven my GT500 enough but I swear these you know the, the wheels in themselves are so white they're the carbon fiber wheels which is a good bad thing these things so, so easily be damaged and that's something that my finance guy did for me. I bought the tire wheel windshield protection and it wasn't really cheap, but he called them to clarify if the carbon fiber wheel, if the carbon fiber wheel is covered under their uh, warranty to be replaced. Because if I'm correct, and anybody watching the video can weigh in, I'm pretty confident that this carbon fiber wheel is maybe like $4,000. You know, and can I verify? Can I say that for sure? I don't know for sure, but I could swear over reading the forum over the last few years, I've read something to that extent that the carbon wheel could be a four thousand dollar, you know, wheel. Which that's just even if it's two thousand dollars, you know, for the warranty I just paid for that package, it'll well, you know, it's well worth the money spent if I was to damage one of these wheels. You know, and that's that's only reason that. You know, I kind of like, this is such a track-oriented race vehicle, you know, do I really want, you know, do I really want that? I mean, you know, which, because am I going to track it? Probably not, you know, and that's the irony. People buy these high-performance cars, how many actually use them for what they bought them for, you know? And so, yeah, you know, I'm just up front, not saying that I, down the road, yeah, it's possible. I could go that direction, so never say never, right? You know, in fact, buying the car, I'll, I'll have a track day event that I can attend. Which I kind of forgot about that. My daughter would love that, even though she wouldn't really participate totally, but she could go to it. So I'll probably go do that. So that's a really good point. Odds are I'll take advantage of the next track attack event since I have this. And my daughter would really get a kick out of that. So last time, it was during COVID, and I just didn't do it because I had a really bad GERD issue going on where I'd have to clear my throat and I would cough. And I just felt, to the respect of other people, I just felt like they're gonna think I have COVID or they're gonna hear me coughing, clearing my throat, 
you know, I just felt embarrassed. And, you know, I don't want to, I just don't want to, you know, I, I just didn't like it. And during the COVID time, it just wasn't comforting. So I just, I, I had to give it up. I passed. And it's mainly because I was doing a constant clear my throat and cough. I used to be a big problem. I GERD stuff. It's a nasty stuff, man. I feel sorry for anybody that doesn't understand what GERD is. And especially if you're getting it and don't realize it. It's bad. And it took me years to get rid of it. And I still have it a little bit, but not a lot. All right. Back to the Mustang. Got the kid behind me. Uh, the Raptor. You see her. I bet you she's enjoying that, right? And yeah, thank goodness. Too bad. So, you know, that's... Uh, that's encouraging and uh, it has this thing do you know these carbon carbon uh, fiber wheels if you get a lot of brake dust build up in them it can literally throw the balance off on the wheel you know and if you listen to this car right now this car is so it just such feels like a race car I mean now you know the Recaro seats I'm not a fan of the Recaro seats I mean, if you're going to track the car, you'll appreciate that more. But for me, you know, I'm kind of a big guy. And so long-term riding around in this car, I know for a fact, you'd be like, oh, you know, they're just, they just wrap around your body. So, you know, so, but, you know, once again, it's, this is a whole theme and does it pay off down the road? And that's what it's all about for me. If I can own the car and if I really want to keep it forever, that'd be awesome, but should finances and circumstances change and I can actually get rid of this car you know that's the key you know that's that's what it's all about to me is there a is there an escape plan you know can you get an escape can you get out of the vehicle you know so that's kind of the uh the way you got to look at it for the crazy is what I'm doing right yeah how long is this video gonna be today so yeah I think you guys have seen a lot I may say more a few few more things but I think I've said way more than enough, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of GT500 videos, and being this is new, I'm not going to get too crazy in it, and that's the danger of this vehicle, is you can get yourself in a lot of trouble in this vehicle, yeah, huh. yeah, I've done some pretty, you know, fast things in these high-performance cars, and sometimes you're like, man, I shouldn't even have a car. Coming back into Virginia, my hometown for 42 plus years. Hard to believe. Wow, what a great car. I just can't emphasize how the GT500 is just such a fun car. I mean, why would I buy another car if it wasn't fun? I mean, I get rid of the cars that are no longer fun, even though, for the record, you know, sometimes I make decisions that don't make that much sense, do they? So, welcome to Virginia. I'm going to kind of wrap this thing up. Yeah, I know. A lot of content, a lot of talking. I'm pretty impressed if anybody lists my whole video. In case you want to take a nap, you can do that, right? And uh, the kid 
kid's probably falling in love with the Raptor back there, which she's driven my other Raptor, my silver 2018 Raptor, so she knows the truck. She's a truck nut. Wonder where she got that from, right? Yeah, I wonder where the kid got the car habits. Just let's hope she doesn't have my habit. I can only hope and pray that she just stays really content and she doesn't want another car, a different car like I do. I mean, that's just a bad, it's a bad addiction. And I know that, you know. Am I going to lie to you? I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it's an addiction. I get it. So, everybody's got a challenge. Everybody's got an addiction of something. So, uh, you know, hope everybody's enjoying it. And I'll probably get a few more pictures and kind of call it a day. And then, if the weather is good, we'll do the Sunday morning conversations. And I'll take this up to the car show in Leesburg, Virginia, at the old Walmart. And, you know, I haven't been up there now. I'm guessing middle of June. Probably the last time I was up there. So this would be a surprise for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, oh, let me guess who owns that. Yeah, do I take the GT500 in? My magnetic GT500 up and this? Or does the kid drive her fun GT50 white Mustang that she just truly loves? So, hey everybody, thanks for watching Ice Age TV today. The six for, it was a six for one deal, but it turned out to be a six for two deal. But I really thought it was going to turn into a seven for two deal. Just incredible. So, I hope everybody has a blessed evening and stay tuned for more Ice Age TV adventures. And if any luck, I'll beat the rains. There's rain up ahead here. Yikes. I prefer not to get it wet. thinning out right where's all the cars